This has been stewing about 1.6 hours on my horror meter. It's still happy. I've been experimenting with an HPS at under voltage and it seems to run fine at 37 volts. Lamp has been going for 51.4 hours and uh, yeah, it seems to be fine. Another thing I'm working on as well is uh, my seat raising tray. So I just use an old uh, frying pan, electric frying pan, the wife wanted to throw it out because um, the tray fall had come off and so I've got some lemon seeds in here and some uh, uh, swamp plants and we'll see what happens with those. Uh, that's pretty dodgy at the moment, it just runs on uh, 230 to 24 volt transformateur which is running uh, from the supply here and that's uh, it's about 40 watts, yeah 40 watts on there and it sits on the socket next to the Rousseau here. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah my high pressure, low pressure sodium runs at about uh, 700 milliampere, it's on the top end of the scale. Um, I'll just turn it off and on. So, uh, the lamp also restarts immediately. But um, I was quite surprised uh, how low voltage it still works, and the startup current cycle seems to be fine too. I'll just show you the voltage, stand by. Uh, let's watch the meter 36.7, so 37 volts. It's just across the bulb. And that seemed to be running fine with that, so that's quite cool. So we let uh, I'll put this quick video up here, and I'll keep everybody updated with my plant processes here at the well. So yeah, running under voltage on the elements. It feels about 37, 37 around degreeish. Um, I tried also with a ballast, but the power factor was uh, 0.2 and it was drawing 1.1 amp, so there was not much achievement in it. So I got a very messy workshop, but that doesn't matter, it's part of the fun. Um, here, look at this. And you would think this is low pressure sodium, but it's not, it's high pressure sodium. And um, it gives quite a good color. Okay, I'm going to put this on the device. Stunning. September 5, 2021. That is horizontal rain. Okay, I just checked this this morning. This is day six in my uh, little glass house, and its result is actually quite good. I will turn the lights on, and uh, this in uh, six days I got the uh, seeds from the lemons to pop out, and I got some uh, swamp plant seeds coming out. That container was put in later, but here is some uh, swamp plant seeds. And that's the lemon seeds. I'm quite surprised. Very happy. So this device runs on 24 volts. Let's give it a little bit of uh, water in here. And the device has been running for 144 hours. Got a whole lot of water on there, so I now keep the uh, records and the sodium lamp. This runs at about 35 watts. Stays on 24/7. Uh, Container doesn't close. So open power supply, but it's a restricted area, so it's all good. This is day eight on the plants. Let's take them out of the workshop and let them harden up. Hmm, this is interesting. Just open this. And an ant's steam in here. This is just unbelievable. I need to drown the bastards. Anything I can do. Drown the lot. This is unbelievable. How many flipping ants can arrive? Yesterday the reservoir was fine and today it's flooded with ants. Unbelievable. I need to drown the whole lot.
that's only thing I can think of I'm gonna overflow and I've torn the whole lot get rid of these bloody things only I can think of lost the bloody lot Leave this for now, it can't be bothered. It's just amazing the bloody crap you have to deal with if you want to grow some stuff and there's always something. Well, I got rid of the ants and I planted uh, lemon plants in here. So these are all singles and some they have doubles in them. Let's see how the stock goes. And these seeds have cleaned up, so I've rinsed this thing out. Seal around it, better seal so I can make the next batch of these devices.